everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica, and on today's video, I am doing day five of five days of foundation for February. So today, I'm going to be using this little bugger right here. This is the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid to Powder Foundation. And it does come in a little bottle like this. It actually came with a sample of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, which I also happen to have right here. Uh, but this is the Liquid to Powder Foundation Mattifying Oil Free. Now, it does have one fluid ounce. So this is a foundation for more oily skin, and I don't know why I'm trying it out in the middle of winter when my skin's not as oily, but it's okay. I like mattifying foundations. Uh, this is in the color Blanc, which I think is their lightest color. I do have their website right now. Yes, Blanc is the lightest color. So this is the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. It says this breakthrough foundation absorb absorbs oil, camouflages imperfections, and delivers a long-lasting velvet matte finish. The revolutionary formula has been shown to reduce the appearance of blemishes, pores, and acne scars for naturally matte complexion perfect perfecting coverage that lasts. Okay. It's oil-free, non-comedogenic formula, won't cause blemishes or clog pores. It's lightweight formula transforms instantly from a liquid to a powder to a long-wearing velvet matte finish, and so on and so on and so on. So this is Blanc. It's the very fair, cool undertone, which the next shade is vanilla. It does have a safety seal on it, so we're going to go ahead and pull this off. Now this is $56. This is a little bit more expensive than some of the other foundations are that I have used. And I'm having a hard time getting the safety seal off because I did just put on foundation, or put on primer. So my fingers are a little bit slippery. Alright, so let's wait on that for just a little second. I'm going to let my finger... Oh, there it goes. Okay. I did get it open. And I'm going to tell you real quick what I already have on my skin. So I do have, this is pretty standard for me, the Milk Makeup Cooling Water, the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist, and the Tatcha Water Cream I just have underneath my eyes. And then I also put on the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer that I have here. And now I'm prepped and ready to go to get my foundation on. So on my right side of my face, I'm gonna be using my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. And on my left side of my face, I'm going to be using my Flower Beauty Sponge. This actually might end up being a little bit too pale. Believe it or not, I might have actually got a foundation that was too pale. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... I think I got too much out. Dot this all over my skin. So I'm going to stick to just the one side first, and then I will go over on the other side. I'm not sure how quickly this dries, so I don't want to end up having the one side dry before I'm ready for it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the brush first. I will say this. I don't feel like it's heavy coverage at all. Now, I can't remember what the, the website said. Did it actually say it was a heavy, uh, full coverage? Medium to full. I don't know that this is medium to full. Right now it seems like it's a very light coverage. Which is good, because I like light coverage, but... And it definitely looks like it's gotten down to like a powder consistency. Um, I like a lighter coverage, but if you're looking for a full coverage, I don't think this is it, at least not on my skin. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side real quick. you in and let's talk about this a little bit because there's some things that I'm not really liking so far. So, so far there are a couple things that are kind of bothering me. Number one, the sponge is definitely lighter weight than the, uh, the brush side. But on the brush side, I'm getting like a lot of powderiness like around my nose and this is supposed to be a liquid to powder, but I don't know if I'm going to get that with a powder foundation. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, my nose is acting a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know if it's just where the brush and the sponge hit each other, but I'm definitely getting a, getting a lighter coverage on the uh, sponge side. So I'm going to put a little bit more on the 
brush or sponge side, I'm going to actually apply this with my brush and I'm putting it like just in areas where I know I have some more problems. Um, still have that blemish that's kind of hanging out and maybe a little bit more on my forehead. Alright, I don't know what's going on. I got a couple of streaky areas. Like right here around my nose, there is a big streak. I don't know if I can buff that out. It seems like this dries really, really fast, which was one of my concerns, which is why I didn't put it across my entire face to begin with. But it dries really fast. And like when it dries, it definitely looks like a powder. I don't know. I mean, the coverage is definitely better with a brush. But I'm using a sponge because of the couple areas that I do have streaks. Like right in here, that streak is not going away. And I don't know what the heck is going on with it, but it just looks so powdery. And I had a lot of high hopes for this foundation. Like really, really high hopes for this foundation. Especially the price point that it is. Like what is going on right here? Can you guys see that? I hope the camera's picking it up. Can you guys see that on my lip? Like, it looks like there's a spot where it stops. <sighs> I am not liking the way this is looking on my skin. Like, at all. I'm really hoping that this sort of, I, I, I don't know. Let's find the check-in time. The check-in time is 11.40. Um, it's just looking really powdery, very, very powdery. And I've worn powder foundations and it doesn't look like this. All right, I am going to go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on and I will be back. We will call 1140 our check-in time and I'll be back to let you know what it feels like. Well, look, it doesn't feel like a liquid. It's not transferring. It feels really nice. Like it feels nice, but it looks so powdery. All right, I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and we'll see what it looks like, what it feels like after I get all my makeup on. So I will see you guys in just one second. So the time is now 12.07. I'm struggling with this. Uh, anyway, on the rest of my face, I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. The Hourglass Ambient Edit 3. Ooh, there's my hand. Um, I just used the uh, bronzer and the blushes and um, contour. And then for highlight, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Nicole Guerrero. I literally just tapped my brush in all four of these colors. Uh, the Glow Getter, Forever Young, Kitty Cat, and Forever Lit. That is my highlight. I do have the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter black eyeliner and Smashbox 24 hour uh, eye primer and then the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and the NARS uh, Velvet Lip Glide in the color Bound is on my lips. So. <laughs> I'm hoping the camera is picking this up because I am really, really not digging the way this foundation is sitting on my skin right now. All in here, it looks like I just have a lot of unblended powder on my face. I'm really not liking that. Um, the same with my chin. Uh, I just feel like I have a bunch of powder that's not blended into my skin and I'm not liking that at all. My forehead I think looks okay. Uh, I literally just sprayed the setting spray on my face, so I'm hoping that that helps by blending it all together. And actually, I'm thinking about spraying more on. I think I'm going to spray a different one on. I'm going to go back to the other one that I've been using, the Pix Up 
the Pixie by Petra Makeup Fixing Mist. This is in the Rose Water and Green Tea. I'm gonna spray this on my face as well. I'm hoping that the setting sprays help this out. Now, like I said, this could be my fault for using it in the winter when I'm not as oily. This might be something that I can retry over the summer when I am really oily because that usually happens around like the July, August time period. I do get really, really oily in the summer. So I might have to retry this one. Let's see how this one goes right now. Like I said, I'm in the middle of winter and my face, my skin is more normal to dry right now. Uh, but I do try to put a lot of moisturizers on to, to try to, to keep it moisturized. But, oh, and my mascara. I forgot to tell you my mascara. I have the Marc Jacobs on my upper lashes and Beauty Counter on my bottom lashes. Uh, I'm still just really having a lot of problems right in here. That's that, that uh, pimple that is just not going away ever. <laughs> I think it's with me for life. Uh, and it's having a hard time on that part of my skin. And I don't know if it's because that part of my skin's healing that it's just not sticking to it. Uh, in here, it's still looking really powdery. I, I don't know. I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to go to my family. Uh, I'm going to go out and hang out with my family in a couple of hours. And I will check in. Hopefully in natural light, it's a little bit overcast today. Uh, so I'm going to try to check in in natural light. We'll see how it goes. But right now, I just feel like I look very, very powdery, even though this was a liquid foundation. It does say liquid powder. So that's probably my fault. I mean, I expected it not to look quite this powdery. I did see a couple people say that this was their Holy Grail uh, Best of 2017 foundation. Maybe it's just that they're more oily skin than I am, but it is looking really powdery on me, and I'm not liking it at all. So I do like the lipstick color, though. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go about my day. I'm probably going to edit some videos and then uh, go about, um, uh, go to my family and then I'll be back later on this evening. So I'm not going out too much. I might go to the grocery store, pick up a couple of things as well. Um, yeah. Anyhow, that is where I'm at. I'm at right now. We'll see you in a couple of hours. Hey guys, I'm going to try to film this. I'm in the car uh, because it's very cold outside. It's 18 degrees according to my car. But the time, so I can get my watch out here, is now just about 3.50. I'm hoping that's picking that up. Looks like it is. Okay, so it's 3.50. Uh, so I've had this on for four hours and I'm really, really not liking the way it's looking on my skin. I'm, I'm looking in my uh, visor mirror here and it looks like the sun's kind of washing it out a little bit but i look like i have just really patchy powder all over my face right in here especially and like my chin it just looks bad it looks really really bad um this side doesn't seem to be looking as bad and the sun is right in my face so i'm trying to be uh cognizant of not going blind um I don't know this just looks like my forehead probably is the only area that actually looks kind of nice the forehead looks nice but yeah this is bad this not so much I don't think looking in the mirror but this cheek looks really bad and my chin just looks old my skin looks old in this foundation and, and, and I just don't like it <laughs> I don't like it um so I, I am going to keep this on for another four hours, but at my current four hour check-in, I am really not happy with the way this is looking and I'm glad I'm just going to family. Like right now I'm waiting. Uh, John's actually in the Starbucks back there getting some tea. Um, and this guy just pulled in beside me. Like there's the car. <laughs> his front, his back end of his car is sticking out at least two feet. At least two feet. I don't know where he's going. Apparently he thinks he's going to run into Starbucks quickly. Anyhow, let's go back to the foundation. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not liking the way this is looking on my skin right now. I don't know. I'm going to keep it on for four more hours, but it'll probably come off at the stroke of 8.45. Or, I'm sorry, 7.45. I'm not keeping it on any longer than I have to because I really don't like the way it's looking on my skin. I don't know. What do you guys think? The forehead is about the only area that actually looks kind of decent. I don't know. I'll see you guys in four hours. 
Okay, so it is the end of the evening. I did actually manage to keep this on for eight hours, actually eight and a half hours. It is 8.18 in the evening. And let's talk about this foundation, shall we? Um, I think I've said already that I probably should have waited till the summer to try this out when my skin is more oily. And what I might do is revisit this in like July or August when I'm at the peak of oiliness because it does say that it is for more oily skin. But let's talk about what it looks like. I'm going to zoom you in and I will point out specific spots on my face where I am more concerned than with others. So. The first spot that I'm still very upset about is right in here. I really hope the camera is able to pick that up, but it looks like I have unblended powder foundation on my skin. And it just looks bad. My nose looks bad. Now over here there's a spot where it's wiped away because I did blow my nose at least once this evening. Actually, I think only one time. But it, it wiped right off my skin uh, when I blew my nose. Um, this is, this is my biggest concern right in here. So I'm not sure if the camera's gonna be able to pick that up, but like right here, I have some dry skin and it is clinging. Like, hopefully the camera will pick that up. But like I have little dry pieces of skin that it is clinging to right there. And down here along my chin line. And that doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not very good for dry skin. And it looks really bad on my chin. I'm hoping that the camera can pick up every line. Like, there are just lines all across my chin, and it just looks really bad. It looks... Honestly, what it looks like, other than my forehead, <laughs> my forehead looks the best of my entire face. My forehead looks really nice actually the rest of my face to me looks like i tried to apply powder foundation and i didn't bother to blend it like i literally just like puffed it all over my face and that dry spot's just getting to me um but that that's what it looks like to me in my mirror i literally look like i just puffed uh powder foundation all over my skin and i didn't even powder this stuff like i did not put face powder over top of this foundation. I mean, this is liquid to powder. It feels dry. Like it's, it's, it's not sticky. Like a lot of other f liquid foundations are, it does dry to powder. Maybe I didn't put enough on. That is my fault. If I did not put enough on, if you have tried this makeup, this, this specific foundation is immaculate liquid powder foundation from hourglass and you saw how I applied it and I did not apply enough, please let me know in the comment section down below because I want to like this foundation given the price point. It is an expensive foundation for one ounce and this little bottle, like when I squeezed it, it felt like it was like, there was like nothing in here. Um, I mean, it's, it's one ounce. I have to accept the fact that it, it, it is one ounce. I assume it is, but it's just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I do think I got probably a shade too light, but then again, maybe the next shade darker was, it would be too dark. I, I don't know. The shade I'm not too overtly concerned about because I usually am fairly pale and I think that it's looking even paler because I have a black t-shirt on. So that could be something that I could change when I try this out again. But I'm really not liking the fact that it just looks like I have unblended powder foundation all over my face. And I've tried other powder foundations that blended better than this did. So I'm going to keep trying this throughout the month of February. And in my February wrap up review video, I will let you know what my thoughts are on this foundation. Right now, I'm really not liking it. Not for the price that I paid for it. And I think I even bought this. I'm pretty sure I bought this during the 20% off in November. So I didn't even pay full price for it. I did get it on sale, but even on sale, I think that that's what, like 40 something dollars, like 43, $44. No, um, I don't know. I, I just don't know. It, it, 
yeah. If I did something wrong, please, please let me know because I really do want to like this foundation. Uh, I do love Hourglass, uh, the other products that I've tried from them. I do love it. Um, I know that they are in the process of changing to an entirely vegan line, which is fantastic. They're already cruelty free, but they are changing to vegan. So that is another check mark in the pros for Hourglass. But this foundation just didn't work for me and I don't know if it's something I did or if the foundation really is just meant for really oily skin. So I might revisit this in July or August when I am fairly oily. Over the summer I do get pretty oily. So anyhow, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below if you haven't already and you would like to be. Please hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Do you have any experience with this foundation? If you do, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Did I do something wrong? Should I have applied more? Maybe I didn't apply enough. And if I had applied more, it would have been less powdery. I will try to do that throughout the month of February when I do try this out again. But just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate it. So, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.